Hello, friends. Today we'll learn about what happens if you fall into quicksand. Quicksand, or sinking sand, is formed when water saturates or thoroughly soaks an area of loose sand, and the ordinary sand is agitated. It is a mix of sand and water that looks solid but becomes unstable when disturbed by any additional stress. It is a shear thinning non Newtonian fluid, meaning it can change its thickness or viscosity depending on the amount of stress applied to it. Ah, let me save him first. Hmm. Quicksand can be found in places where there is grainy soil, including river banks, marshes, lake shorelines, beaches, and areas near underground springs. Here is how you can identify quicksand. If water is bubbling up from below the ground, you may have stumbled upon some quicksand. Terrain with a rippled appearance is also a major sign. It's always recommended to tap the ground in front of you with trekking poles or a walking stick. You know, it's impossible for a human or animal to become fully submerged in quicksand. The reason why you don't normally sink into the sand is because quicksand is denser than water and the human body is less dense than quicksand. You get stuck in it, but you don't get sucked down to the bottom, but float on the surface. Your legs are pretty dense, so they may sink. Also, quicksand is rarely more than a few feet deep. But every minute you're stuck in quicksand increases the risk you'll suffer from dehydration, starvation, or sunstroke. Hopefully you'll get help from emergency services, but if not, you can use these tips. Drop everything. If you step into quicksand and you're wearing a backpack or carrying something heavy, immediately take it off. Move horizontally. If you feel your feet are getting stuck, take a quick couple of steps backward before the quicksand takes hold. Lay back. Lay back and move your arms as if you're doing a backstroke and make sure you keep your movements slow and steady. Once you have reached the edge of the quicksand, roll to your side, away from the quicksand, and free its grip. Use a stick. See, this man is trying to identify quicksand with his stick. Always carry a walking stick anytime you're in quicksand country. Do not rush. If you're stuck in quicksand, frantic movements will only hurt you more. Whatever you do, do it slowly. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.